Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We are here in Sheffield. It's the start of fight week for Dawson Smith versus Zapeda. Delighted to be joined once again, Mr. Liam Cameron. Uh, very, very, very big week for yourself. Very big week. Um, it's one I never thought was going to happen. I put it on my Twitter saying, get me on this show. And everyone was messaging Eddie Hearn. Probably didn't see it like, but don't matter, I'm on it. I got told... Do 200 tickets, can you do it with two weeks' notice? I didn't even know I could do it. I went, yeah, I can do it. And now I've done it. 200 tickets, two weeks' notice. And and Arthur Sheffield's already coming to this fight, you know. So, I flagged it, Anna. Certainly have. And let's just go back to last time I spoke to you, before your even first comeback fight. Um, in such a short amount of time, you've done something that not many people probably would have believed in so as a personal kind of thing for you so proud yeah I'm proud of myself listen I got myself dragged myself off my, off my hands and my knees to this position and people have helped me but like the weight loss journey but I bet you could tell I've lost a lot more since you've last seen me so I'm just buzzing I'm, I'm here just on, on merit you know what I mean um, I'll do my best sat there and my best will be be everyone in that um, British rankings everyone at, at super middleweight so we'll see I've been there I've done it at top level and I'm a much better fighter now yeah and speaking to your stable last week actually I was speaking to Janae Boston and he was saying that this isn't just like a gimmick, yeah, it's a great, great story, but you're not relying on that story. You're in the gym, you're working incredibly hard, and you've got a point to prove, and you're going to be in some big fights. Yeah, I don't even have time off. Like, people do camps. I'm constantly in that gym. You know when people say, oh, I'm, I've done a 10-week camp for this. I've done it um, since I've been in nine-month camp for this fight, and I've had, this is my third fight, I'm buzzing. Do you seriously think, though, that you'd get back to the arena in such a short amount of time? No, because I've never even boxed yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've boxed, I've boxed, I've watched boxing twice here. Mm. It's mad. It's mad to think this. Dreams do come true. Um, talk about. I don't know if you're into like manifestation and the stuff that works in behind, behind the scenes, but how much of kind of your self-improvement away from boxing do you think has led to this opportunity yeah um, everything um, boxing has been the tool to get me back I'm an alcoholic doing other stuff I don't want to talk about um, 128 kilo now I'm like 79 kilo it's crazy isn't it stop drinking I'm on my 15-16 months without alcohol I ain't even had a drop so our bad me, you know, our in hospital and all sorts with were, were blood pressure. I thought we were going to die. Um, beat that. I'm going to beat this opponent. I'm just winning. Do you think the thought and idea of boxing getting back on, in the gym kind of saved you a little bit? Yeah, yeah. Um, that was the tool yeah. I used, boxing. So, yeah, 100%. Dead. Get, get, get down to the boxing gym if you're ever feeling bad because that will push you up and 2024 obviously you've had the three fights in relatively quick succession on the comeback this will be the third um when can we see titles by the end of the year do you think um hopefully i'm not going to put pressure on myself i just want to stay unbeaten on this run this unbeaten run i've got um since our back see i didn't never lost the commonwealth i got it took yeah. off me so I'm just getting momentum through everything now. This is going to open a lot of doors for me. I'm not bothered what I get um, with anything like that. So I'm just buzzing to be here and it's a great card and I'm a part of it. How good is it to be part of that Still City Gym at the minute? Thriving? Yeah, it's thriving. Um, I was there when it first opened, 2002. I were in there. I can remember Brian and Grant and Dalton walking in. So I can remember all this. We went to cafe after. I was only young. What well, I, I might have been nine year old. So I was here from then, and now I'm back. 
is it kind of how, how good is it to see how far that gym's come from? you were there at the start you're just saying now realistically it is one of the top professional gyms in the country oh it's not it's the top it's clean it's very clean grant had a go at me other day for leaving me a bag of washing i had in there <laughs> tried to slight and i tight not but he collared me give me a bit of a bollocking i took it out and got it washed but so good gym everyone's good no one talks bad about anyone and if they do they probably get fun out because someone will say something but no it's Everyone wants everyone to win, especially I want everyone to win, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, we're buzzing. Just last one, just a, a message to the fans, and in particular those uh, 200 people who bought them tickets, made you get on the show and leads to this fantastic opportunity. Yeah, thanks very much for buying tickets from me. It means the world to me. I can't thank you enough. And uh, hopefully this is just the start of big things. Excellent, Liam. Thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV and best of luck on Saturday night, mate. Cheers. Wall Street memes casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.